Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, or entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have an absolutely uh, ridiculous show for you guys. But before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit all notifications to be notified the second we publish our content. I think it's important that I state this from the onset based on the title that you've read. Um, we're not a political commentary uh, channel. We don't talk politics ever. Once or twice, I mean, here and there, you may see me post something on our community board. But generally, generally, we tend to stay away from these things. Now, I have toyed around with the idea of potentially in the future, one day, who knows, talking politics, although I've said historically I hate it, but I have not made that decision yet. And right now, that's not my focus. However, this particular topic is something that resonated with me. And I said, listen, I have to I have to share my, my thoughts um, on this particular issue. So what happened this morning? I was actually doing some research and I came across some various articles um, that were centered on U.S. sitting president Joe Biden commenting on Caitlin Clark's new w WNBA uh, salary. And what he said uh, was something that really just, you know, it didn't it didn't resonate with me properly. Right. And it's something that really uh, that really bothered me because I thought that what he was saying was ridiculous. And I thought that a lot of what he was saying, he was doing it as in an attempt uh, to essentially pander. Right. I don't think it was coming from a place of anything genuine. The reason I say that is because when you follow when you listen to the reasoning, uh, behind this commentary, you know that, listen, this wasn't really well thought out. Uh, so that's what I want to focus on today. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Prize Picks, which is the largest daily daily fantasy sports platform uh, in North America. Prize Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let me get into this article. I want to read from People Magazine. It says, President Joe Biden's uh, comments on Caitlin Clark's WNBA salary says women are not paid their fair share. Continues on. Kellen Clark's recent jump to the WNBA has garnered a lot of uh, fanfare this week, but the Indiana Fever star is not receiving the proper salary, according to sports critics and including President Joe Biden. Discussions were raised across the social uh, across social media this week about women athletes and their salaries, particularly in the WNBA. After news broke that Caitlin uh, Clark's will make a total of three hundred and thirty eight thousand and fifty six. Um, in her first four years in the league, Biden, who's 81, joined the conversation by posting on X uh, on April Tuesday, criticizing uh, the country's wage gap when it comes to women and men, pointing out Clark as a prime example of, of essentially this uh, disparity that exists. He says women in sports continue to push new boundaries and inspire us all. But right now, we're seeing that even if you're the best, women are not paid their fair share. It's time we give our daughters the same opportunities as our sons and ensure women are paid what they, uh, you know, d deserve. And then the article then continues on to say a few uh, other things, you know, in terms of explaining the disparity and the wage, the, the wage gap and all of that. Right. Let me tell you why that struck a chord. The reason why that struck a chord is not that I'm against women. That would be patently absurd, right? Married. My first child is, 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 is a girl, so that would be ridiculous, right? I have a sister. I have many sisters. I have, what, 
onto their five sisters. So like, it'd be crazy. That's not the reason it struck a chord. The reason it struck a chord with me was it wasn't coming from a place of sincerity. There was nothing genuine about these statements. I know that if you put out statements like this to people that are primed up to just go out there and fight and argue and scream and holler and all of that, you know, the knee jerk reaction is going to be, yes, you see, why are women underpaid? Why is this? Why is that? And there's going to be very little room uh, for critical thinking and reasoning. So I decided to do a little bit of research here to really get, to, you know, get into the nitty gritty of this. I want you guys to just, to just bear with me while I give you guys some critical uh, information here. Let's talk about the revenue between the WNBA and the NBA. WNBA's revenue grew 233% in 2023 from 60 million in 2020 to 200 million, uh, 200 million in 2003. Uh, and before you think it, viewership is up 36% and attendance is up 16%. That's revenue. I want to look at another, I want to look at, uh, uh, yeah, I want to look at another thing uh, there. In terms of the NBA, their revenue, they bring in more than $10 billion uh, annually. Uh, the WNBA brings in $200 million and the NFL made nearly $20 billion. So we've answered the revenue question. Fantastic. Let's get to the viewership numbers. The NBA brings in, on average, 17,184 people in attendance in terms of their games. Whereas the WNBA, uh, in terms of attendance, brings in 5,676 people to watch their games. Let's look at the finals viewership. The 2022 NBA finals brought in 12.4 million viewers, while in 2022, the WNBA finals brought in 412,000 uh, viewers. Now let's get to the base salary. WNBA players made an average salary of $113,295, while NBA players make an average base salary of $9.7 million, uh, dollars, right? So if you listen to all of this information, you would then say to yourself, this is absolutely unfair. The women are being taken advantage of. Something must be done here. But the question most people are not asking is why does this exist? Why is this? Why does this exist? Does this, you know, current status quo exist because it was something that men created to harm women and cause them to earn less money? But that'd be patently absurd because you can't prove that. You can't prove that. So if it's not something that the men created for you to say they deserve to get what the guys make, why would you say they deserve it? The fact of the matter is the following. The men, for whatever reason, people have more interest in men playing basketball, or in this case, the NBA, than they do the, the WNBA. That's just the simple answer. And because there's more interest, the NBA is going to generate more revenue. They're going to have higher ratings. They're going to have more uh, uh, attendance in their games. Uh, ticket attendance makes up, makes up about 30%, 35% of the revenue for some teams. So if you have 17,000 people attending a game on average a night, you're having more than three times the revenue every single night or even four or five because of the price of the tickets will be higher, obviously. But does that mean that the women are being treated unfairly? Well, no. It just means that there's more interest in men's basketball than there is in women's basketball. That's number one. Number two, why is it incumbent upon the men to do something? Number three, why is President Biden making it making it like 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 a like like a project for all of us to solve? If you want there to be a better uh, a wage gap, then more people need to support the league. I thought this was quite simple. And if you understand, if I understand it's at a rudimentary level. I'm sure the president understands that as well, which means that the only reason he went out there and said anything about this was to pander, which is the only reason anybody else. Is. And, and, and listen, Marcellus Wiley is a friend to the channel. I think he took an opposite position. I totally disagree with him on that particular book because it has nothing to do about who deserves more. You're going to get what the market yields. If you're selling a hundred dollar hamburger, nobody wants to buy it. You may consider dropping down the price. But if the next guy selling a hundred dollar hamburger and he has better ingredients or whatever, whatever, they have a better ambiance, better restaurant, better marketing, and they buy it, tough luck. That doesn't mean you now need to earn the same as him because well, we both made hamburgers. That's ridiculous. 
Ferrari and Ford both make cars, don't they? Why does a Ferrari cost more? Why does Ferrari have the highest profit margin of any car or automotive maker in the entire industry? Because Ferrari's Ferrari and Ford is Ford or the next car or Aston Martin is Aston Martin. But for him to say this, it just seems like, like, like he's just trying to pander. That's the first. The second part is this. There's a lot of hypocrisy within this conversation. A lot of it, if I'm being quite honest with you. Here's the reason why. Do you know the reason why I'm saying this? Is because while people are running around hollering and screaming and twerking it up and knocking over drinks and slapping each other, talking about we, 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 women need to make more, blah, 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 blah. Where was all of this righteous, righteous indignation? When we're talking, where's this all of this righteous, righteous indignation when we're talking about the wage disparity or the wage gap in, in, in the fashion industry? Oh, oh, you thought I wasn't going to bring that up? I want to quickly read from an article from Fashion Law uh, Journal. I want to quickly read from it here. It, ha it has the following headlines. Are female models paid more than male models? Continues on. Even if there's a continuous salary disparity between men and women, generally, there's at least one field where it's opposite, modeling. The gender wage gap has received a lot of attention, yet one sector of the economy openly discriminates against males, and that is the fashion sector. The gender pay gap in the fashion industry is a rare instance of an, uh, of an exception to the norm. Most fashion designers focus on women's wear. As a result, there is far greater demand for female models than for male models. Female models are more prevalent than male models, even uh, in ads, shots, and fashion shows. Thus, there isn't much of a comparison. Therefore, female models typically earn two to three times as much as male models. Male models may earn up to 75% less than female models, claims the industry insider Giselle Bunchen former wife of, uh, of, of of Tom Brady, the highest pale female model in the world is a good example. Forbes reports that the Brazilian beauty earned $34 million last year. In contrast, according to the most recent information gathered about earnings in the male uh, of the male models uh, in 2013, Sean Opry earned $1.5 million. According to the data from Forbes gathered over the last few years, female models earn millions more than their male counterparts, particularly when looking at the top 10 earners of each gender. The top 10 women models all earn millions of dollars according to her and only three male models earn more than one million dollars a year so why isn't joe biden president joe biden discussing this the reason he's not discussing this is because it doesn't garner any votes that's the reason he's not saying what he's saying because oh i love you and i love women no he's saying it to pander to get some damn votes which is pretty much what all politicians say do excuse me which is pretty much what all what all of them do I want to quickly close here on an article that I just got from Front Office Sports uh, this morning, which essentially says Caitlin, Caitlin Clark nearing a $10 million plus Nike deal. Days after be, uh, being taken first overall in the NFL Fever in Monday's uh, WMDA draft, Clark is expected to sign an eight-figure endorsement deal with Nike and get her own signature shoe, according to The Athletic. Clark had an NIL deal with Nike as a college player at Iowa, but it concluded at the end of her Hawkeye season, allowing her to hit uh, the market of her hit the height of her market or popularity she had a similar situation with uh fanatics but decided to uh, flip to uh panini ahead of her pro career so essentially uh in march industry sources estimated the athletic could could fetch one million in annual salary for her shoe deal so she's going to get a 10 million dollar shoe deal but that's not really what people are upset about people are upset about because they're busy looking at the fact that oh well nba players earn that much money they earn that much money so why aren't the women, because it's the same sport after all, well, quite literally, it's not, it is the same sport, but it's played totally differently, it's to, to, comprised totally differently. The, MB, the WNBA game is a totally different game than, than the NBA game. It totally is. So to me, the reason men earn more in this particular sector is because there's more interest. There's nothing diabolical about it. It's nothing about men sitting in a back room and saying, hey, man, how are we going to figure out a way to suppress these? It doesn't matter to them. I don't really believe it matters to them. If they want to see an increase in their salaries, the WNBA needs to figure out a way to increase the revenues because all of these points that they're bringing up, the question then becomes, so what exactly are you planning to do? Does the NBA need to siphon off a certain percentage of his revenues to the WNBA every year to, to, to inflate the, the, you know, the, the, the bottom line? And if that's what they need to do, the question then becomes, why? Why? 
the players are earning their keep. They're not stealing money. They're earning the money that the market believes that they're worth. So why would I now have to go give it to the next person? And if it if and if we start if we set that precedent, where does it stop? Where does it stop? If I walk into a Starbucks and I and, and I can afford to, be, to buy what fifty coffees, and because I'm, I'm I can do it, so that means well, I need to pay for the next people, the, the, the uh, other people there who can't afford more than just a coffee and a donut. I need to pay for them too. Well, you can afford it. So I mean, why is it fair that he gets? Because I I have the money. <laughs> I have the money. There's certain people in high, you know, uh, highly specialized skills where they earn a boatload of money, buku money, buku money. What's next? NBA players are going to be looking at uh, soccer players to be like, hey, man, why do they earn so much money? Why can't we? Like, what is going on? So this is something that I 100% disagree with. This is all for uh, uh, politics and the garner votes because there's no sense behind it. You put out a statement that you get paid. What are boys? What are you talking about? What are boys? These people are going out there and working to earn this money. What are you talking about? Like, not like as if somebody just giving them this money. What our boys are earning. So who, so who, whose fault is it? This is what I want to know. Whose fault is it that the NBA players would that be absurd? So whose fault is it? If you want to blame something, blame the market. Because they clearly have more interest in the NBA than they do the WNBA. And inversely, people have more interest in the NFL than they do the NBA, hence the reason they make more money. So what's next? NBA players are going to be looking, well, well, why do they earn more money? Than I mean, after all, all athletes at the end of the day, why do they get to earn so much money? And then the NBA, the NFL going to sit down, well, you know, they are brothers in sports, so we got to figure out, like, come on, like, we got to stop. These are my thoughts. I just think it's important that I close by saying this. This does not mean I'm endorsing a candidate or going up against, uh, going against, uh, you know, going against Joe Biden or anything. I just... Wanted to touch on this particular issue. I was thinking to myself, what do I classify, classify myself as as a Republican Democrat? I'm not either one of those. I agree with certain views on various sides. Uh, this is not a political show. I just wanted to address this here because it it was related to sports, and I thought it was absolutely ridiculous. So, what I want to know from you guys: What do you think about today's show? What do you think about what the president had to say? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments, and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace. <laughs>